She is a writer. She is a biter. When she takes my hand and gets used to it, she nibbles her lower lip and avoids talking to me while ambulances pass in the traffic. I can recognize all the strangers on the way home and feel too observant or creepy walking around her neighborhood with the trees. There is a charm in not knowing things. There is something I've always wanted to say. I know who is sad, who is an asshole, and who wants to get to know me better when I escort her home, guiding the small of her back up the staircase. Everyone has an expressive face while we ascend up the stairs like young kids past curfew. There is perfect trouble we can use later secretly with our bodies if we do not look back down at them. Sexual tension is the elephant in the room that keeps changing and undressing inside our heads. This is where I know what happens next. A song changes on the stereo. Our friends stay quiet by talking amongst themselves. Someone acknowledges, this is a lovely party. Someone else digresses and wants to name their first daughter MDMA or Molly or Tequila Mockingbird. I turn the handle so the door closes quietly and laugh in character to get away.